You want to hurt the devil? Start praising him. Devil got your job. Devil got your marriage. Devil got your money. Devil got it all. Start praising. I don't care, devil. I can't tell you how many times I've gone in my closet in my house that I live in now, and I rebuked the devil from my house because I could see he was he was tainting my atmosphere. And we were starting to get in the same tips in the same part of the house, and we get in the same issues the same time of day. And the kids would irritate me the same way at this time of day when I got this type of email, and it was on and on. And that's, that's what he wants. He wants to feed on that. We started start breaking ourselves down. So I had to go in there. I said, get out of my house, devil. I rebuke you. Stand behind me, Satan. Like he told Peter. You got to do it sometimes. But it's weird. It does look weird. That's why I go in my closet. But just because it's weird don't mean I don't believe that it's necessary. Because I take action for something I think is necessary. If I didn't believe it, I wouldn't take action. When you are faithful, your belief takes action. Man, if I had a dollar for every time I put the devil out of my house. That's what you gotta do. You gotta stay close. If he puts distance between you and God, that's when you become vulnerable.